Hello, everybody. Welcome to Adventures in Beekeeping. My name is Dale, and it's a it's December the 30th, 2023, and it's cold outside, so it's another day in the shop. And I'm going to be putting the fourth coat of paint on these Man Lake deep budget boxes. And you can see they're turning out really good with just three coats. So let's get started. I'm going to show you my setup and uh, how I'm doing it. First, paintbrush and roller. This is how I store my paintbrush and roller between coats and this Ziploc bag. Next, the five gallon bucket of Oops paint from the hardware store that I've been working on. It looks like I'm down about two gallons. I drop in a piece of half inch hardware cloth into the uh, bucket so that I can roll my roller on it. The paintbrush roller has a little catch on the back of it, so when I'm not using it, I just sit it right there like that. When I'm not using the paintbrush, I just sit it there on a piece of newspaper on a piece of wood. Notice I have newspaper down on my workbench, and I have a couple of pieces of wood for each uh, box to sit on. And that holds it up so that I can get all the way to the corners. Over here I have the drying station. I'll be able to put two boxes side by side on those two pieces of wood. And then I have some other pieces of wood there that I'm going to use uh, to put in between each of the boxes. I paint the three sides in this orientation and then I lay it down and paint the fourth side. I use the paintbrush on the handles and the roller on the sides of the box. I'll show you how I do one of these real quick. Just take some paint, do the handle with the brush, the handle up here with the brush. I still have some paint, I can do the handle over here. Just do it real quick, nothing fancy. One dip into the roller, the paint into the roller. Do this side. And we'll do the top. And as you look at these boxes, can you tell they're budget grade boxes? No, with all the with four coats of paint, very well protected. There's no way you can tell that these are budget grade boxes. And I'm hoping that these will last and last and last. Now, when I did the budget grade box video, uh, one of the people that commented, uh, "Made in Papa's Wood Shop." said that it was funny that I was saying that the knots are not a problem. Hey, thank you for that made in Papa's Woodshop. So by the way, made in Papa's Woodshop has a couple of videos out that are really cool that show how they chainsaw carve eagles. And I'll leave a link in the, in the comments so that you can go and watch that. And as I recall, Made in Papa's Woodshop has a fantastic deal for uh, carving eagles. He wants to fill up his carving schedule and has put out the fantastic deal uh, for carving an eagle. I, and I'm not going to try to explain what the deal is, but from what I gathered, it was a fantastic deal. And if you look at the video, this is a fantastic one-third carving of an eagle. One-third size carving of an eagle. And he does a fantastic job. So that's made in Papa's Woodshop. That's the YouTube channel. And I believe it's madeinpapaswoodshop.com. And that's it. 
the box is done. And then I just reach in here and grab it on these two sides on the inside like that and send it over to the um, drying station. And I forgot to put the wood down. Hold on a second. So just grab it on the inside like this and deliver it to the drying station. And now for the easy cleanup, just pull the half inch hardware cloth out, let it drain, dip back into the bucket, brush the paint off as much as you can. This is the one part that I don't like because I waste a lot of paint uh, on, the, on this grid. Then what I do, once I get it cleaned up pretty good, I just sit it here and then the roller back in the bag, paintbrush back in the bag, seal it up. I'll be painting soon again. And I left plenty of paint in the roller and plenty of paint in the brush. Uh, as long as I am back painting in a few weeks, that'll be fine. And then just take the lid, pop it back on the bucket, press it down. And then after this dries, I can put this away, fold these, take these wood pieces away, fold the newspaper up and set it aside for the next time. Then I'll just fold out the newspapers again, uh, put this back in the bucket and away I go. If you like this video, please press the thumbs up button, subscribe, and ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a great day. Now I'll get out of the way and let you see the main event, the thing that you've came to watch. Watching Paint Drawing.